What's going on, y'all? Fives back at it. I'm gonna jump right back into it. Let's go to the NFC this time and talk about the Seahawks versus the Saints matchup. Uh, very good matchup. Uh, two distinct, different playing styles. You have a very high-powered passing offense against the best defense possibly in the NFL. I like the Seahawks in this one. Listen, last time these two teams played, the Seahawks drubbed the Saints 34-7. to I definitely don't think it'll be a blowout of that standard. I think it'll be a close game, but I do like the Seahawks pulling this one out. comes down to this, all right? The Seahawks have home field advantage, and the Saints do not. Listen, I know the Seahawks had that bad loss to the Cardinals a couple of weeks back, but I'm willing to give just about any team one bad loss. Uh, I might call it a schedule loss, whatever you want to call it. Still, best home field advantage in the NFL. The Seahawks have it. The Saints do not. They are not as a good of a team on the road. Um, you look at the X's and O's on the field, you got probably the best secondary the league has to offer. So Drew Brees and his receivers will not be able to get that much separation. You got monstrous linebackers. You have a great front four. You have a great pass rush that can get to Drew Brees. And they did get to Drew Brees the last time these teams played. Um, and on the other side of the ball for the Seahawks, they, uh, they're they very ground and pound, very um, uh, uh, like pass only on certain occasions type of team. Russell Wilson does make turnovers, so I like that. They make the right throws. They make the correct throws when they need to. They're a high IQ football team, and Russell Wilson is a high IQ quarterback. I like the Seahawks in this game. It'll be close. It'll be close, but I like the Seahawks. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, subscribe uh, and hit me up on Twitter, man.